All right, so this is how you create a double the video length for the videos that you create with the same prompt. Okay, so that means it's just gonna be a longer length video with the exact same prompt. You didn't do anything, just put a checkbox in and it's good to go. So let me show you how to do this. Double the video scene length that you can add for every single scene and video you create with your prompts. So all you have to do is go to AI videos tab right now to your right, then go to create from prompt option. And then when you click on that, you're gonna have the prompt section, right? So here you can put anything. So let's say, for example, if you want to go in the human side of things, you can do this. Again, you can put the uh, uh, some type of uh, human uh, prompt here. You want to do cinematic, surreal, whatever you want to do, you do that. Or do studio portrait, do studio portrait. Yeah, let's just hit uh, generate image. Now here, once the image has been generated like so, what you can do is there's a new option that's now available for you called video length booster. You see this? So what this will do is it'll double the length of the video, right? And with the advances we're making, it's gonna maybe even triple the video length in the future. But for now, you can do double the video length. So you click on video length booster, and then you also wanna put, because it's a human, right? You have a face of first, right? So you wanna add in, let's say for example, video as forward facing person. So that way what it's gonna do is it's gonna smoothen her face and make her more beautiful and that sort of thing, all right? And of course, once that is done, you click on basically the generate video option. Now, let's say you wanna do face swap, you do the same thing. So what you would do is you, you'd probably wanna reuse the same character and then when you do that, it says face swap, you wanna put your, uh, you know, let's say a photo of your choice or whatever and then convert that into a video as well, right? But anyway, when you do this, just, just click on create video it's gonna now do double the video length. Now, because if it's double the video length, you wanna toggle these options that are available here, okay? Just play around with it. So in some cases, you may want to reduce the motion, right? Because already there's so much animation happening over a longer period of time now, uh, you may wanna reduce that, increase the smoothness maybe, yeah, right? You wanna tweak it a little bit depending on whether it's human, 3D, 2D, that kind of thing, right? So for uh, human, maybe you wanna reduce the motion speed a little bit less than before. Or if you're doing high normally, make it medium. If you're doing medium normally, do it low. Uh, if you're doing uh, smoothness normally medium, maybe you wanna do it low or high depending on uh, what you're creating and then you create the video. So let me actually show you some examples here and I'll show you how I created them, okay, real quick. It's gonna be fun. All right, go to media library here. This is where it's gonna be saved by default. You can move it into different folders and stuff. But anyway, this was a, a cute cartoon rabbit, as you can see here. It's uh, about five to six seconds long here before it was just two seconds long, right? Uh, so this one is another five seconds uh, right here. See it walking and stuff a lot longer than before. And obviously with the advancement we're making, it's gonna be even more longer and longer, right, obviously. So there's another one, this was two seconds, you see, before, so it's now uh, from two seconds that it was before, now you can make it up to five, six, whatever, double, triple, that kind of thing, depending on what it is. Uh, you can do up to six, sometimes seven, depending on the uh, type, but uh, the way you wanna look at it is if it could do two seconds, now it can do up to five or six, right? So that's how it is. It's just basically what it's doing is it's, doing some magic behind the scenes to basically make it a bigger scene, okay? So that's the basic idea, all right? So uh, again, the one which I just did uh, right here uh, with the yoga, as you can see here, it's about five seconds right now. Normally it's two seconds. Uh, this one just got completed right now that I just did. Uh, it's another five second uh, video, as you can see here, right? Normally it's gonna only be two seconds long, right? So basically that allows you to give a little bit more flexibility in terms of what you can achieve uh, with your outputs. Now this is for humans, the same thing applies for cartoon as well, right? So if I wanted to do cartoon, the one I just showed you earlier, uh, let's just try that, recreate that. I'll show you how to do it in a cartoon because I know you might be wondering. So you could click on this one right here, click on AI videos and click create prompt, right? Click and paste a prompt or any prompt. I mean, I just put an animated 3D Pixar style cartoon rabbit walking on a road in a cyberpunk surreal world, right? Um, basically, bokeh means blurred background. You can put blurred background as well. Uh, you can even take assistance from our extend prompt uh, where you can say blurred background animated 3D Pixar style cartoon and it's gonna generate the whole thing uh, for you. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do 3D here. And you here you can do cinematic, 3D model, neon, punk, whatever you want. If you wanna put neon, punk, uh, it's gonna generate like a neon uh, surreal world around it uh, for that particular rabbit. And if you just, uh, there you go, right? You see this. Now, if you just don't want it, if you don't want to do it that way, you want to just cinematic, you can do that as well. You do cinematic like what you see here, right here. And then what it's going to do is uh, it's going to do it like this. You can play around, you know, basically that's the idea. So let's say you're happy with this, right? So again, for this one, what you can do 
Keep the motion speed medium because it's a longer uh, length. You don't want too much animation over a longer period of time. So what I'll do here is that I'll pick uh, low uh, for the motion. You don't need to make it high. It's not needed. And then you click on video length booster. Okay, you see I selected that video length booster. And then you click on create video. In just a few seconds, the video will be done. There we go. We have the video run already. It's about, about five seconds long, as you can see here in the... Uh, clock here. Normally it's two seconds long. So now we created a beautiful Hollywood style, if you will, Pixar style scene here, right? So again, as the advancements we do more, we're going to keep extending it more.